people may not understand why somebody would voluntarily wake up before sunrise to work out. And to be honest, I'm not really sure I can explain it in a logical way. Because only somebody in my position can understand the way I feel. I have fallen in love with a beautiful game. A game that the world calls football and that for some strange reason, the US decided to refer to it as soccer. Regardless, although I live in a country where this glorious sport is often not even given the respect it deserves, I am still in love. There is no other activity that requires such skill, such athletic and mental proficiency. It is without a doubt the hardest sport to learn. That is why training can often become overwhelming. Dribbling, passing, crossing, shooting, free kicks, volleys. It is hard to tell if it is a sport or some intricate style of art. A magnificent synchronization between mind, body and the ball. Skill that requires total commitment and years of practice to master. And that is not all that's difficult about this sport. The athleticism that needs to be achieved for success is incredible. At the gym, I've been using the heaviest weight on the leg machines to warm up. I find it amusing when people say soccer players aren't athletes. I don't think people realize the strength required to be effective on the field. I've even heard certain individuals refer to soccer as an endurance sport. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I casually jogged for the ball when fighting for possession. Yes, you need stamina, but this game is a series of battles that require constant max speed sprints. You need to be fast and then faster. And how do you increase speed? By increasing your leg strength. And what's the best way to increase your leg strength? By lifting heavy ass weight. Some people nod their heads and argue that I shouldn't be lifting like a strength athlete. But it seems that the people that advise me lately are in no position to speak. Because I have become faster. I have become more explosive stronger, agile. When there was a lack of a plan to follow, I created my own. To me, there is no such thing as limits. When I reach what appears to be the end, I improvise. There are no limits, just momentary plateaus. But you constantly need to renovate, to find ways to move forward. I will no longer be slowed down. Even gravity is starting to piss me off. Forgive me if I'm rambling, but I've put this off for too long. I started this channel as a way to continue doing what I love as a hobby, but this isn't a hobby anymore. Somewhere along the process, I remember the old me, the little kid who believed he could achieve anything. And I don't know what made the little kid lose sight of his dream and become complacent with living an ordinary life. Perhaps I was scared, but like limits, fear is just an illusion. Another test from the universe to see how bad you want to succeed. And I promise this little kid inside of me that we are going to give this one more chance because I've realized now now that there is nothing, nothing in this world more that I want than to play professional. I want to feel the adrenaline of running with the ball. I want to make magic on the field. I need this. It's my drug. There are no other options. Anything else would be taking the easy way out. I don't want to be that guy who almost made it. Too many people give up at the first struggle they experience and everyone around me seems to be content with their 9 to 5 jobs. It's easier. People are saying to dream big, but I don't see anyone doing anything. What is everyone so scared of? Scared to fail? Scared of being judged? Scared that it might be too hard, too difficult? The only thing I'm scared of is waking up one day and realize I missed my opportunity. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm making this video to motivate you or to motivate myself.